Hey friends, my name is Z and you're watching He Was Easy. Welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Max and today we have questions for Factor and Remainder Theorem. And we look into the rules and examples of last lesson, so if you haven't checked it out, just check out the description or check it out in my YouTube channel. And these questions are from Dr. Force Max or DFM, so if you want the PDF, you can check it out in the description or you can check it out in my website. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll move on to question 1. Show that x minus 2 is a factor of uh, this function right here. So let's set this function, so let's set this equation as a function f of x. Specifically, f of x equals x cubed plus 8x squared plus x minus 42. So to prove that x minus 2 is a factor, you have to equate x minus 2 equals 0 and solve for x, which is basically x equals 2. So we have to substitute this x by 2. So f of 2 equals 2 cubed. Oops, 2 cubed plus 8 2 squared plus 2 minus 42. And expand out to get 2 cubed is 8 plus 8 times 4 is 32 plus 2 minus 42. It will be 42 minus 42. And 42 minus 42 will be equal to 0. Equal to 0. Therefore, it means that the f of x, the f when f of x is divided by x minus two, or like like or like x equals two, there will be a remainder of zero. Therefore, it means that x minus two is a factor. So, like write Q E D. And then we have number two. Uh, x plus three is a factor of x cubed plus six x squared plus a x minus twelve. Find the value of a. So let's set this as f of x as well. So let's just write f of x equals x cubed plus 6x squared plus ax minus 12. So we're trying to find the value of a and we're given this is a factor. So to, so to solve what to put into x, you do x plus 3 equals 0 and therefore x equals minus 3. 3 minus 3 minus 3 cubed plus 6 minus 3 plus a minus 3 minus 12. And they were all equal to zero because we know that x plus 3 is a factor and to be considered as a factor you have to have the remainder of zero so if you expand the bracket it'll be minus 27 minus 18 minus 12 minus 3a equals zero so minus 27 minus 18 minus 12 will get us fi uh, fi minus 57 so if you bring the minus 57 over to the other side, it will be minus 3a equals 57. So when you divide 57 by minus 3, you get a equals minus 19. Minus 19, and that's the answer. So a equals minus 19. Then we have question 3. f of x equals x cubed by plus ax squared plus bx plus 24. And two of the factors of f of x are x minus 2 and x plus 3. Work out the values of a and b. So when you have two unknowns, in this case a and b, and you're given two factors, it's probably a simultaneous equation. So let's just do 1 first. 1, you'll put x, x minus 2 equals 0, so x will be 2. So you put 2 with x, like this. 2 cubed plus a, 2 squared plus b, 2 plus 24 equals 0, it will be 8 plus 24 which is 32 plus 4a plus 2b equals 0 and you just bring it to the other side as well as dividing everything by 2 it will be 2a plus b equals minus 16 that's number 1 right here and for number 2 it will be x plus 3 equals 0 and therefore x equals minus 3 so we're going to put x equals minus 3 into the f of x so be minus 3 equals minus 3 cubed plus a minus 3 squared plus b minus 3 plus 24 equals 0. And if you expand it out, it'll be minus 27 plus 24 plus 9a minus 3b equals 0. And minus 27 plus minus, minus 27 plus 24, we get this minus 3. 
and bring it to the other side as well as dividing everything by 3 you get 3a minus b equals 1 that's, that's number 2 so let me just, let me just um, rub this top out like so so once we have 1 and 2 we can equate them so 1 is 2a plus b equals minus 16 and 2 is 3a minus b equals 1 so you would just add both equations together because if you add both together you cancel out the b so 5, 2 plus 3a is 5a that 2a plus 3a and b just cancel out and minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15 like so and from now on you can just solve for a which is just 15 divided by 5 minus sorry minus 15 divided by 5 which is minus 3 and so when we have minus a equals minus 3 you can just solve for b so we know that a equals minus 3 and therefore b equals let's just do it here 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 and minus 16 plus 6 is minus 10 so b is minus 10 right here so a equals minus 3 and b equals 10 Number 4, x minus a is a factor of x cubed plus 2a x squared minus a, x, a squared x minus 16. Find the value of a. So it will be f of x, this is substitute, some, some exercise for substitute, x minus a equals 0 and therefore x equals a. So let's just do this first. f of a, because this is basically equals 0, Oops. basically equals 0 and x equals a. So it will be a cubed plus 2a a squared minus a squared a minus 16 equals 0 because it's a factor so it will be a cubed plus 2a cubed minus a cubed minus 16 equals 0 so this two cancel out it will be 2a cubed minus 16 equals 0 and therefore 2a cubed equals 16 divide both sides by 2 It'll be a cube minus 8. And if you cube root both sides, cube root of a, is cu a cube will be a. And cube root of 8 will be 2. Because 2 times 2 times 2 will be 8. So therefore a is 2. So a is 2. Like so. And I have question 5. It can be shown that x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus 8x 8, 8, 8 squared plus x minus 42. Hence, or otherwise, work out all the solutions for x cubed blah 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 blah. So when it says hence or otherwise, you have to do it because the otherwise might trick you off for like not doing it, but you have to do it. So let's just, we know that this is already a factor. We have to do long division to find out the other like remaining quadratic equation after dividing this whole f of x by x minus 2. So it will be x cubed plus 8x squared plus plus minus plus x minus 42 divide by x minus 2 so dividing it will be x square and then x cubed minus 2x square minus will be 10x square plus x and here will be plus 10x and 10x square you minus minus 20x it will be 21x minus 42 like so then you plus 21 so that 21 times x is 21x and minus 42 and if you don't understand this long division you can check out my last video for rules and examples for factor and remainder theorem but this is how you break it down so we'll know that x cubed plus 8x squared plus x minus 42 divided by x minus 2 will be x squared plus 10x plus 20 plus 21 so let's just write it out here so x cubed plus 8x squared plus x minus 42 will be x minus 2 and x squared plus 10x plus 21 like so and we can further factorize the right hand side of the quadratic equation to get x minus 2 equals x plus 3 and x plus 7 like so minus 2 so once we have this uh, simplified form we can just equate this to 0 so it'll be x minus 2, x plus 3, x plus 7 equals 0. Like so, 
Then that basically means x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0, and x plus 7 equals 0. Therefore, x is 2, or x is minus 3, or x is minus 7. So therefore, x is 2, x is minus 3, or x is minus 7. Then we have question 6. Factorize through the x cubed minus 4x squared minus 11x plus 30. So you're not given any like, initial factor, so you have to do trial and error to like establish what the first factor is. So let's just set this by f of x. So f of x equals x cubed minus 4x oops, minus 11x plus 30. Let's just substitute x by let's say 1 first to try it out. So 1 cubed plus 4 1 squared minus 11 1 plus 30. So it will be 1 plus 4 minus 11 plus 30. And that's clearly not equal to 0. It's not 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is not a factor. It's not a factor. So let's do f of 2. It will be 2 cubed minus 4 2 squared minus 11 2 plus 30. It will be 8 minus 16 minus 22 plus 30 and if you expand it out uh, it will, let me check 8 minus 16 minus 22 plus 30 and it gets a 0 that's correct it gets a 0 that means that x minus 2 is a factor so once we have the first factor of x minus 2 we can just do long division to find out the other the, the other like quadratic equation to factorize it from there so it'll be x cubed minus 4x squared minus 11x plus 30 and divided by x minus 2 so it'll be x squared x cubed minus 2x squared minus both sides to get minus 2x squared minus 11x to get minus 2x minus 2x squared plus 4x then minus minus 11 minus 4 will get us minus 15 minus 15x plus 30 then minus 15 to get like this and the remainder of 0 therefore we know that, let's just write it down here so we know that x minus 2 and x squared minus 2x minus 15 it equals the original equation like the f of x we can factorize through like of, of the, we can like further factorize the second equation because it's a quadratic equation you can use a quadratic, quadratic formula or you can just use your calculator to find the values so the values will be x minus 2, which is written in a new color. So the values will be f of x equals x minus 2, x plus 5, and the last term of x minus 3. And let's factorize fully. So let's just write this out here. It will be x minus 2, x plus 5 and x minus 3 and that's the answer let me just rub this out like so then we have question 7 so factorize fully this equation as well it's quite similar to the, to the one just now where you have no like factor so you have to do trial and error let's just set x equals um, let's see x equals 1 so it'll be f of 1 equals 1 cubed plus 4 1 square minus 25 1 minus 28. So it'll be 1 plus 1 minus 25 minus 28. So it'll be 2, which is basically not equals to 0. So it's not 0, therefore x minus 1 is not, uh, it's not a factor. Let's just do f of 2. So it will be 2 cubed plus 4 2 square minus 25 2 minus 28. It will be 8 plus 16 minus 25, sorry, minus 50 minus 28. So this will also not be 0, so it's not a factor. Since we know x minus 1 and x minus 2 is not a factor, we can just go to the negative part. Let's just rub this out. 
So we're gonna do f equals f of minus one. This so it will be minus one cube plus four minus one squared minus twenty five minus one minus twenty eight. So it will be minus one plus four plus twenty five minus twenty eight. So it will be three plus twenty five minus twenty eight, which is zero. That means that x plus one is a factor. So once we know x plus one is a factor, we can do long division. So we'll do x plus one right here, and x cubed plus four x squared minus twenty five x minus twenty eight. There'll be times by x squared of x cubed plus x squared minus you get three x squared minus twenty five x to get plus three x and 3x squared minus sorry plus 3x Tw minus 25 minus 3 will be minus 28 x minus 28 and just do minus 28 and then you'll get a remainder of 0 right here so once you have the once you have a quadratic formula you can just write it all out so it will be f of x equals x plus 1 and x squared plus 3x minus 28 so you can full, you can simplify further of the like the quadratic equation by using like uh, like finding which number times to get this and plus together to get this. So to save the time, I'll just do this. X it will equal to x plus one, x minus four, and the other value of x plus seven. Like so, and that's our sim uh, factorized form. And let's just highlight this. All right, let's do this. So the factorized form would be x plus 1, x minus 4, and x minus 7. So x plus 7, like so. Then we have question 8. Use the factor theorem to show that x minus 3 is not a factor of x cubed minus 10x minus 3. So it's quite straightforward, you just set this into f of x. So f of x equals x cubed minus 10 x minus 3 so we'll do is just do x minus 3 equals 0 and therefore x equals 3 so this substitute x by 3 equals 3 cubed minus 10 3 minus 3 so 3 cubed will be 27 so 3 times 3 times 3 will be 27 minus minus 30 minus 3 and that's clearly not um clearly not 0 because 27 minus 30 minus 3 will get us minus 6 and that is not 0 so let's just write it out minus 6 is not 0 therefore it's a therefore sign therefore x minus 3 is not a factor of x cubed minus 10 x minus 3 and that's how our answer for this question and that's it. And that's it for this video for questions for factor and remainder theorem. And I hope you all find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you have any feedback, uh, constructive feedbacks or any criticisms, just drop that in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And if you don't understand anything or have any confusion, just drop me a comment or email me or drop me a DM on my social medias and I'll reply to you. And check out my social medias in the description, for example, LinkedIn or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check it out in my web website in the description, or you can type it out in your browser at www.eweaseasy.com. And that's it for this video, and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be rules and examples for simultaneous equation. Until then, stay safe, and happy learning.